In 1858, hundreds of Chinese immigrants landed in Canada. Filled with dreams motivated by a young nation's growth, the Chinese brought with them their traditions to the new country. Victoria, the capital city of British Columbia, became the first Chinatown in Canada. Now, the Chinese Canadian community and its culture still stand strong. Cultural celebrations such as the Lunar New Year draw thousands of people from diverse communities together, a testament to the Canadian mosaic model of multiculturalism. We follow three stories showcasing how culture can bring together a community. Wang Shang Hung Fat Kung Fu Club is the only martial arts club to practice the Hung Fat style of kung fu in Canada. Established in 1974, they train their students in the art of breathing, stance, and respect. Godwin Chan and Mark Albany are both senior instructors at the club. We meet them on site as they prepare for their upcoming traditional lion dance and drumming performance. My name is Godwin Chan. I've been doing kung fu for about 30 years. When I first came down here looking for a club from Edmonton, I saw the weapons in the window down in Chinatown. That's where we used to be. And I decided just to go out and check it out. So, just like in the movies, I walked by and there's this old man sweeping the sidewalk with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth. And I looked, I looked at him and I looked at the sign and I said, Kung Fu Club? And he just used his head and said, uh, like up the stairs. So I said, okay. And I walked up the stairs and checked it out and I saw these guys rolling on the floor like you saw earlier. I talked to the instructor, which happened to be Mark. And、uh, I said, Oh, so you must be the Sifu of the club. He goes, No, 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 Sifu, he's, he's just downstairs.、And、I said, What? I said, That old guy sweeping the floor? He goes, Yeah, yeah, that's him. I said, w h a t you guys let Sifu sweep the floor? And he goes, Yeah, yeah. So I went back, talked to him in Chinese, and he goes, Yeah, yeah, we've been here for a little while. He explained a little bit only, and he goes, Well, if you want to join, go ahead and join, right? It's kind of a funny. Uh, story because on the wall of the club, of the old club, anyways, they had a big sign saying no smoking, no drinking, no sweets, no sugars, exercise, exercise, exercise. Just, just like in the movies, you know, do as I say, don't do as I do, sort of thing. There was, there was another gentleman, another First Nations fellow who was fairly strong in the community. He had said that. Oh, you want to go down to see Wong Shong? So, went down to Chinatown and walked around and around until finally saw this little tiny sign that said Kung Fu Club. All right. A lot, of the, a lot of the values and the beliefs actually reflect my values and beliefs. And I'm First Nations, so I'm from the, from the Song Nation over here. And it's really nice to see that. Crossing and the blending and the melding of the two cultures and the similarity between the two、um, health, life,、uh, philosophy, emotions, mental, all works together. The club has been forming the traditional lion dance in the heart of Chinatown every New Year since the club's inception. In the olden days,、uh, The lion dance was just a performance of how well the club's kung fu is. So there would be competitions of lion dancing, and you see that in all the movies where one club is trying to outperform the other ones through their stances and their fighting with the lion head on.、Uh, nowadays we don't do that anymore. We just show how well we can hold stances, stack people up either on legs or on shoulders, and from there, Just how your endurance and your good health, and how well you can do some of the tricks that all the other clubs do. But what we do for the lion dance is we have to go from every business in Chinatown and collect lettuce and some lucky money. And when we do the lion dance for them, it's supposed to bring on better business and better prosperity for that business for the coming year. Choi means lettuce or, or vegetables. so... Any vegetable like green lettuce is close enough to the Gong Hei Fat Choi saying. So we use lettuce to signify happy, good, good wealth and prosperity. 
Keeping diverse cultures vibrant not only brings together communities, it also allows newcomers to feel a sense of home. My uh, Chinese name is Liu Yunshi. Uh, in Cantonese, it's Lao Wanxi. Actually, I immigrated here when I was 15, 16. At first, I was scared. My English is not good. Canadian, like locals, they are like welcome me. I thought it was like nothing in like like Chinese before I came here. And I like realized it's a lot like this, like event, Chinese event, and people love Chinese culture. And I think, yeah, it will like reduce my homesick with Hong Kong. Canada is really good job to welcome like other country, not only Chinese. All the different countries people are welcoming and accepting Chinese culture, and we can all celebrate together, and it's really good. And we can still keep in our Chinese culture in a foreign country. Yeah.